The Thomas Duplex Super Safe Light is a great option for most dark rooms. It provides bright, diffuse lighting instead of direct illumination. This helps to reduce eye strain in the dark room and allows you to work under brighter conditions without fogging. The Safe Light will continue to work for many years with no maintenance. You should periodically check the filters for fading and replace them to maintain optimal protection. The filters should be changed every four to six years under normal use. You can also check the filters if you experience progressively increased fogging under the same conditions that used to be safe. For black and white darkrooms, you need to purchase both of the following filter sets. The FBD filter is the primary filter for black and white photographic materials. It is constructed of a thin plastic filter and a diffusion paper sandwiched between two sheets of glass. The FBD filter will be indicated by a yellow tape border around an amber colored filter. The FOD filter is primarily for orthochromatic materials. The FOD filter is indicated by a red tape border around a red filter. It is necessary to have both the FBD and the FOD filter sets. The filters are sold in sets of two. A replacement set of four costs about $100 from freestylephoto.biz. Now it's time to replace the filters. Make sure your safe light is off and cool before you begin. Open the lubes all the way by pulling the adjustment chain and locking it into place. Some models have a ring or set of rings to lock onto a hook. Carefully remove the old filters. The bottom filter is just resting in place, but it's difficult to remove. A spatula can help to pry it out, being careful about the glass. The top filters slide out easily. Once you remove the filters, compare them with the new filters. The new FBD filter has a rich, even amber color. The interior filter is smooth without any wrinkles. The old FBD filter shows fading and a color change that is much more blue. This indicates that the filter is due to be replaced. The new FOD filter is completely solid, smooth, and rich in color. This used red filter is obviously worn out. There is significant fading and shrinking of the filter. To replace the filter, gently drop it into place. Be careful not to drop it inside the safe light housing. The manufacturer does not indicate if the paper filter should be toward the light or away. You can do it either way. The upper filters slide into place. I recommend that you change all four filters at the same time and leave a tag on the safe light showing the date. This will help you keep track of when they were last changed. Now that your filters are new, you should be able to use the safe light with more illumination. In a 12 by 14 foot room, the loops can be open fully for black and white materials. The light is supposed to reflect off the ceiling and walls for soft, diffuse light. There is no need to paint your darkroom black. You can close the lubes part way to extend your working time or if your working conditions are close to the light. You should always do a fog test to anticipate how your safe light will affect your materials. For orthochromatic materials, close the lubes completely so that the light passes through both the amber and the red filters. The light will be dim, but your eyes will adjust. It should provide good protection for your materials. So that's how you change the filters on your Thomas Duplex Super Safe Light. When maintained properly, they will last you for many years and provide excellent protection for your light-sensitive materials. The End